Basically, you start out with the book itself and the pages get scanned. And from there, they go into what we call an OCR engine. That's an optical character recognition engine. And it's a piece of software that interprets the scan itself and then produces a digital copy of the characters. So basically, it takes it from a page to like a Word document. And um, the process is not perfect. The more complicated your um, whatever it is that you're trying to convert is, and let me give you an example of complicated, if you have um, layered borders or pictures that are sort of um, complex, they're illustrations, they're not just a photograph, and sometimes photographs that are complex, it's not gonna see it appropriately every time. Um, and therefore, it's, there's gonna have to be some editing done on the back end to insert the appropriate picture and make it look right or put it in the right place. There's too many spaces, things like that. And there's a lot of that, you know, you figure one book probably has maybe 300, 400 pages, something like that, or more, some books are huge you're going to encounter that over and over again. So somebody has to sit there and fix all that. There are OCR engines that are made for foreign languages. Um, they have to be programmed, of course, because each character, if it's a non-Western character, has to have a value or a meaning so that the OCR engine can assign it once it produces it in Word. So those do exist, and um, that is a similar process even for foreign languages. It just sort of depends on how good your OCR engine really is. Usually we ask for a sample up front and say, can you give us, say, 20 pages of your most common kind of book so that we can gauge how complex it really is. And then we get back to them with a bid about, you know, here's what it would take in terms of labor for us to produce something that is almost exactly the same. Or if it can't be done, we explain, okay, here's the way that we can do this. Are you interested in that? No more books. Bringing books to life.